Do you know that feeling of complete exhaustion after a run? Well, I tried increasing that on purpose. For 30 days, I tried Dr. Peter Zatia's fitness routine for longevity. I tried VO2 max training for 30 days, aka zone 5 training, and the results were so interesting to say the least. Let's hop in. If you don't know who is Dr. Peter Atea, he's a physician that specializes in the applied science of longevity. He helped multiple celebrities like Chris Hemsworth train for longevity, and he is the author of the book Outlive. Talks you in detail about how to train for maximum longevity results, how to train to live longer. Okay, that's out of the way. What is VO2 max? What does that metric say? What does that mean? It's a number that indicates how fit you are, and in itself is a measurement of the maximum volume of oxygen that a person can use during exercises. How can you measure yours? Simply by doing fit test in the lab. But after watching multiple videos comparing the fit test in the lab and the Apple Watch, the margin of error is so small that the Apple Watch I would say is accurate enough. So in the beginning of the 30 days, I saw my VO2 max on the Apple Watch. It was around 44. And for reference, this is how I looked back then. So what did I do? I started doing lifting in the afternoon and running in the mornings. But I used a treadmill. I used to run one time a week, 60 minutes zone five training as hard as I can for four minutes, then four minutes zone two and repeat for 60 minutes. That's one time a week. And the other five times a week, I just ran zone two for 45 minutes a day. And all of those days in the afternoon, I just left weights. So let's recap again. One time a week, running for 60 minutes in four minutes in zone five, four minutes in zone two, and repeat until I finish the 60 minutes. One time a week. And four times a week, I just run 45 minutes in zone two. And all of those days in the afternoon, I lift weight. My calorie intake is around 2000 a day. My protein intake is high and I kept doing that for a month. One week I took one day off and the other three weeks I took two days off a week. So until day 14, nothing has happened, but I felt something is different. I felt leaner and that was to be expected because I'm burning a lot of calories. And funny enough, the weight on the scale was constant. It was the same. So I'm guessing I'm losing fat and building some tissue. That's the theory. And I noticed something else. I've been getting so quality sleep you cannot imagine. It's so better than before my endurance was up I can do more volume with less rest during my lifting my fatigue was a lot lower between sessions I've been recovering a lot faster and my athletic performance was a lot higher in just 14 days I'm not kidding so I kept doing it and doing it and doing it around day 23 I got a notification on my whoop that my resting heart rate is getting lower while sleeping if you don't know that's an indication of better fitness so I kept doing it doing it so day 30 i opened up my health app and i saw my vo2 max measurement was up i was so happy you couldn't imagine it was 47.5 so i got it up by three in just one month so will i keep doing it of course i am and i'm gonna throw a big party once i top 50 in the vo2 max if you don't know above 50 is the elite athletes i'm gonna be an elite athlete soon and this is how i look after the 30 days Keep in mind, I've been taking NMN, GO2 max if you don't know about it. Good shit, it helps you be a, a better butter burner. It helps keep your heart efficient. So that's it. That's my experience with the zone five training. I will keep doing it for sure. I feel healthier. I will keep pushing the limits until I, I surpass 50 and maintain. Let me know down in the comments if you're gonna try it as well. And if the video was helpful to you, please drop me a like and comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this baby. I would really appreciate it if you're me and as we always say Mikael is always rooting for you I'll see you in the next one